tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, leave a comment, hit that like button, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. So today, back in Tableau, uh, playing around with a uh, with a dashboard, new dashboard here using a super, Superstore data. Actually, it's my tweaked version of Superstore data that helps me do uh, budgeted profits. But in any event, whenever I create a new video, uh, I'm sorry, a new dashboard in Tableau, I'm looking to uh, either uh, learn something myself or I'm creating it uh, to, to teach. So um, I created this to learn something myself. You'll see here I've got uh, um, my different profit values here for furniture and I can see that they're not that great but I've got this cool effect here that they show up uh, in the background and then for office supplies you can see that I have uh, more profits here over the course of the year and then in technology I have uh, more more profits here and I've got the last uh, bar highlighted in each one of the uh, uh, the bands so I wanted to learn something new in bands and then for my profit versus budgeted profit here by uh, by my different categories I can change the granularity right if I go in here to days weeks months and years right pretty cool effect um, this lets me know uh, for year over year here uh, technology I'm sorry um, profit versus budgeted profit as I look um, by year, I can see that technology consistently beats the uh, the budget, and furniture needs a little help. So more technology than more iPhones than uh, Lazy Boys are, are being sold here, right? So what does that mean for you? What I wanted to share was um, not necessarily go through uh, these uh, techniques here. And shout out to Ryan Sleeper. I bought a book, Innovative Tableau. Um, 100 More Tips, Tutorials, and Strategies by Ryan Sleeper. Lots of good tips in there. That's where I, I picked up uh, a, couple, uh, a couple of these tips. I wanted to uh, figure out uh, how to do them and practice them on a data set. But one of the things that I ran into, and this is, this is what I want to share with you today. One of the things I ran into is that um, sometimes you'll have, you know, you, you'll want to create a dimension and it doesn't show up in the data set. So you'll have to set up some dummy data. So you can do one of two things. You can set up dummy data so all your potential values appear. Then you can set uh, the color and uh, delete the dummy values. Tableau will remember the value, values you select. Or in the situation I'm going to show you, I'm creating dimensional values based upon a range. right? So all I have to do is change my range to get the values I want, and I can color as necessary. So you can see this is a real thing. If I go out here, that's my Tableau public page, um, assign color to non-existing values of calculated dimensions. Right? A lot of questions out here. Ability to assign color shapes for theoretical values, non-existent values values preset color palettes so tableau team you know let's uh let's put this on the list we want to be able to uh, assign colors for values that aren't in our data yet <laughs> so you know the tableau public team does a great job um and hopefully they'll they'll put this on their to-do list so let's go into the dashboard and i'll show you what i mean so let's go here Let's go to this. This is my, these are my bands, right, for furniture, office supplies, and technology. And so what, what can I do? You'll see that I have, and let me show you this. Um, you'll see this is, this is Superstore. I just have it filtered um, when I do underscore. These are all my calculated fields. So profit metric calculation. Maybe this will make it easier to, to understand what I'm talking about. And so let's take a look here. Uh, red, black, and green. Those are the three colors I want. If my profit... Right, the max year just you know for 2020, the maximum year in this data says 2020. So, uh, if my profit's less than 10,000, I want to show bad, which I'm doing. And if it's less than or equal to 60,000, that's normal, right? And then if I'm greater than 60,000, 60,000 in one cent, then I want to show great. The problem is I don't have any, um, you know, values at this point in time that are greater than 60,000 so I can show great. So how can I, you see I have bad and normal, how can I color great if it doesn't show up yet? So in this instance, um, again, I can create, um, I'm creating a dimensional value based upon ranges. So all I have to do is change my range here. All right, it took me, I know it seems <laughs> obvious, but um, 
you know, I had to play around with this. So let's let's do this. Let's change this to 50,000. And notice now, bad, normal, normal. I change my ranges to 50,000, say OK. And you'll see this is great now. Great shows up. So that's great, right? Pun, pun intended. And so now I can go in here to my colors, right? I have that value show up. And I can say, great, let's make great green. Apply. And then, right, now great is green. So now I can go back into my calculated field. I can change this back to 60, right? That's, that's, let's, let's assume that is the client uh, requirement or customer requirement. It's got to be 60, not 50. And if I say, okay, it goes back to normal, but will it remember that I had great? That, that is the question. So let's prove out our theory. So I want you to take a look at, I'm going to remind you here, this is the uh, Tableau order of operations. And you'll notice data source filter here is above, you know, context and regular dimension filters. Basically, if I, if I apply a data source filter, values don't uh, trickle into my uh, data that I can use for analysis. You can see that it's higher up uh, in, the, in the hierarchy. So I've got a data source filter. Let's go to data source. And you see I have a filter here. And what am I filtering out? So in the city, I created a dummy val uh, uh, value, ATL, for city, right? And then I'm excluding ATL. I know it's a dummy value. I just added it myself. So let's take this off and have the dummy value come in. Um, we'll just remove. How about that? Let's just remove it. And you'll see the city <laughs> ATL. And let's look at what it does to the profits here. If I can find profit, there you go. That <laughs> region, dummy region. I'm putting $40,000 worth of profit into technology as a dummy, as a dummy um, uh, value. See, it's in technology. So if I go here now, you'll see that values coming in. We previously set great as green. And my technology profit is showing as great, and it remembered the color that I set. So again, that's the that's the quick lesson that I that I wanted to teach you here. Just if you need a particular dimensional value to come in, and you're using a a formula with a range, you can change the range to make uh, your value come in, change the color. And then you can uh, undoctor your formula, and it will still remember the color that you set. So, you know, that's something that you learn just by, by trial uh, and error and wanted to uh, share that with you. So, you know, go, going back here, just wanted to show, you know, with dashboarding, um, you know, you don't need a lot of fancy diagrams to build a good uh, business uh, dashboard. I, I tend to think of myself as a conductor. We're all conductors. We're using knowledge of what we want to build, right? The piece that we want to build uh, while leveraging knowledge from the Tableau community to help build out our vision, right? Work smart. No need to come up with a new technique from scratch every time. Someone in the community has addressed a number of needs through the forums, blog posts, or YouTube. So, so work smart. Uh, not hard, <laughs> and leverage the uh, the Tableau community. Um, you can build some great dashboards in Tableau. I know Figma's great. I may I may play around with with learning that uh, in the future. But you can do some great stuff right out of the box. So, anyway, this has been Anthony Smoke. Uh, hope you enjoyed this tip. Please go out to my Tableau public page and download this dashboard. You can reverse engineer it and play around. Um, if you're stuck on video material I presented here and you need an hour or two of my weekend time to figure it out, you can go out to my, uh, my Facebook page and, and schedule office hours and we can review some video uh, topics here if you, uh, if you want to make that investment. So uh, in any event, this has been Adam Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Get out there, do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching.